we've talked about obviously before the show started with how these compositions that want a team fight in the mid game anyway mm -hmm. the goal is not to go 50 minutes into the game yep. where there is enough matching which is no here from Ryu um, something we see more and more Twisted Fate players do obviously cooldown reduction groups and then you go for these early home guards they start Enabling you to set up some of these gangs and the first oh, one Oh, wow. Soas gets away from the Chumla Waters, That's but he's not, not going to get though. away from the gold card. I think it timed out. Wild Growth comes up. Ryu's in trouble. First blood secured by Amazing. They're not done yet. Origin are looking for Oda one there. They taste something fishy. Glitterlands is going to get fired out in a moment and kill secured for Soas. Massive mistake from H. By time, meet up with my jungler eventually because I have Stand United to my. Uh, disposal and then you just go into the enemy tower you juke Ryu because Ryu was stuck had to flash over all the way gold card timed out and then yeah. suddenly Shen Tan comes into the double dive beautiful pathing by Soul. what a misplay from H2K H2K made a play up top that didn't work out it cost H2K control in this game amazing and so as oh, looking missed to up. run down Hyun and the wild growth has been used no to one is teleported in. There's no chum the waters. Amazing has decided yes, to Shen. turn it back around. Stand United from Mithy. Gonna connect with the taunt. Well done, Kasing. You've got a death sentence, but it may not matter. Flash forward. Mithy gets the kill credit. Yon is hopping, skipping, and jumping away as Kasing's gonna chase down Soaz on the back. A double taunt into a kill for Hyanin. Now Origin overcommits. Well, it's two kills, but they get in mid tower, so it's still worth it for Origin again. They keep pushing every single lane and they have this Shen to always Sing? turn to find Kissing. Oh, okay. Kissing, Kaching, this time for Peke. And Amazing is doing the same. And Amazing's gone. So um, a little bit of lack of focus, mate. Statistically speaking, if they keep this up to 25 minutes, uh, to 20 minutes, it'll equal a 95% win rate. It's going to get hurt as Death Sentence will be going down. Niels gets caught out. That was two, gang. two flashes and a ghost used to get an 80k. Pushing, standing way too far, but this time around Origin didn't have map pressure. You might see another fight though, Lulex getting caught. He's the one that's been caught, invading for a blue buff. Kill goes to Mithy. I like what Mithy did there, he blocked it. Global push, because if a support pick can counter your mid lane pick this hard, you will lose map control and in turn give up a lot of dragons. Until this game, and so as no Mithy had played that Shin, so maybe even H2K. Forgetting about it a little. However, can Origin use Expect it better than Elements can use Frog, and that is the question right now. Origin seems to have control of the Dragon Pit Crepo. They've at least got some control. Zero contest from H2K. That is number three. That 12 means minutes. 12 minutes. Aspect. And there's a banner of command here for Mithy Shen. We'll need to see if that can help control some of these side lanes. Reuse Destiny in. Niels is valked away. Teleport on the top side of the top right of the corner. Somebody's gonna flank. Peke, Chaos Storm's gonna need to come down and it will, but it's not gonna be enough. Yonan's has got himself a kill. H2K, what can they do with the numbers advantage? Wild Growth is on Niels. Yonan gets a double. Now Soez is in trouble. Forced to flash over the wall. H2K may be able to crash. It's very, very big, even though afterwards Odwanman couldn't. Sorry, gentlemen. Cap. Amazing is now in trouble. Wild Growth comes up, but the rend will be enough with another pierce. Yarnan gets another kill. Just did there. He bought 30 seconds, enough to push the mid lane. Then enough in turn to force H2K to go mid. Oh, I'm flanking now. Gonna get the uh, playful trickster. Applies the slow. Methy gets knocked backwards into a death sentence, and Ryu secures the kill. That's the support down. Just a little bit. Obviously, it's easy to talk in hindsight, but right now for H2K. No, you know, well, if Kalista first. Oh, Yarnan! Never mind. Corky is the best champion. Yeah, Thanks, down, the Kalista. There we go. A single oh, rocket. The Crepo, what have you done? Peke is gonna try zone away Lulex. He's chunked below half. Baron's being secured. Ryu, Destiny's available, but he will not use it. I was Origin, right. get the Baron. So Good smart, call. Call it. Dragon is alive. You've been working towards it for such a long time in this game. Amazing, though. He's gonna get hooked up, as well pulled backwards, that's a two-man play, I think that's an Ignite burning as well. Oduwame is looking for a target, Playful Trickster does not get over the wall, that is a giant Niels! He's gonna Valk in defense, we do see the fight continuing to break out, Oduwame is forced to back away, nobody's down yet. Cleanse comes out from Peke and we see Hyanin clearing out that minion wave. Amazing, the only victim of the Combined with teleports is what H2K need to open up this map, however, they pick up the first dragon now. Oh, Yarnan. Super worth it, though. Dragon I should've went into one. The, should've went into the pit. Five dragons, that's obviously super annoying for them. They might be able to at least push into the base. Okay. Your wild cards mean nothing to me, says the kind of minion. Nilso, 
Shamla Waters this time connects when Niels is in melee range on his Corky. Odawamba is going and that's a decent explosive cast from Lulex, but he dies for the trouble. Death Sentence connects on Niels and he will be going down as well. Chaos Storm is hurting, but Origin back away. One Baron's going down quickly though. Again, still no ulti for Rio here, so H2K has to just engage head on if they want to fight. Amazing though, going in. Origin now going to be turning this fight around. Fate's call is up. Yannan's on the back line, throwing out those spears. Rend will secure the first kill of the fight. The Chaos Storm trying to reply for Origin. So far, it's a one for zero in favor of H2K. Ryu goes golden. He's got no support. The Lantern is there. He gets the Lantern! No, nope. but the Pixie follows through. One for one, mid for jungle. Look how hard it is, though, for H2K suddenly to get onto the carries because they didn't have the ulti from Ryu. They didn't have anywhere to TP forward or Omni, so they only got amazing down. They're back though to try and stop this one. Kasing and Lulex are in trouble. It's a flash forward from Pekka. He's got himself another kill onto Kasing. Oduwamna is in it amongst everybody. Hyana gets turned into a munchkin and he gets munched by Origin. Oduwamna, one more playful trick state is not enough. Two more kills to Origin. Really like how quickly Origin realizes, oh, Kalista's standing over there. Let's all ignore Oduwamna and just instantly switch it over. Yannan goes down. This is what Origin were looking for. Bait out some of these globals here so there's no threat to your back line. And then you're what? 10,000 AP expecter. Obviously, the hour at last was a big mistake from Lulix not getting one of these squishy targets. Look down here, left corner as well. We can see how Origin has just picked up the fourth dragon. Chunked out by that death ray. Look at the minions down bottom. I think that uh, banter of command empowered minion will be shoving. Origin crack open the base and get the first inhibitor at 42 minutes. Wonder where they're going to rotate next. It might just be two sieges and two yeah, banners. Two, yeah, I think yeah, the last okay. one here yeah. is just that. It's he's an trying. imposter. He's trying. Wow. Not as cool though. These yeah, those minions, don't help. You can smite them. These yeah, cannon minions have done almost more damage to structures than H2K have as a team. Great play from Origin. Gonna secure themselves another inhibitor <laughs> in a moment or two. Hey man, all, ca all cannons must die and serve and all. Here we go. Team fight. Soaz is thrown down. The Hourglass, Odawamne has hopped in, he's hopped out, the Explosive Cast has knocked Amazing in. The Chaos Storm is wreaking havoc across H2K's backline. Yana gets one, but it is simply not enough. Frank the Tank and Bob's cousin doing all the help for Origin. They're on to the Nexus turrets, they're taking it down. Ryu's trying to go for one last play, it will not be enough. With Origin taking out the Nexus, they are qualified for the semi-finals and have booked their tickets to Stockholm. With two Battle of Command cannon creeps, let's not forget the important part of this victory. Yes, sure, they may have locked in for second place. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> Shen support, turn around ganks. Strategically, it's like... Origin stopped shot calling in mid-game. So guys, let's practice our early game. Good. So you like dismantled uh, H2K. All right, let's take our foot of the pedal. Pekka, you're still farming in the middle. It's okay, we lose mid-game, that's fine. Late game, go back again and just dismantle them again. Yeah, due to that very, very well or great executed early game from them, they could make a few mistakes and obviously still keep it fairly even, not the, the way you want to play it if you are Origin, but we got to see the late game, just the, the difference. When Ryu and Odoami were not able to TP in a flank, to get that back line, Pekka got to be the big carry, just like Froggen.